Hi everybody, DJ Yokely here with the second interview here, a player profile, East Palestine style, and I'm here with the junior. She is a post, she is the fastest woman in the post position. She's a good friend of the program and a better friend of the family. She is Morgan Rutledge. How are you, Morgan? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. So a big win last night against Waterloo. Big part of that, what, 14 points? Big time. You've really stepped up this year. You've had opportunity. It's knocked at your door. You answered. Is that something you had going into, you know, from the off season to, to now? Well, mostly summer stuff really put us, it helped all of us, but I think I, last year wasn't as, but this year I've definitely stepped up. Do you feel a little bit more mature in, the, in your game, in, in mm -hmm. the game of basketball? What, what kind of clicked? Did, did anything from the varsity softball season kind of give you experience for this? Well, I don't know. Dan is a really good coach and he's very tough on us. So kind of after you hear from him, you ex you're okay with anything, I guess. But you catch the heat a little bit. Yeah, and then you just hear from him. He's he's a good coach. I like the the adversity you've battled through. I mean, from softball to, to basketball. I mean, you started out as a first baseman. They moved you yeah. to center field. And then back to first and base. And then back to first base. And that here you are on, on the basketball court. Coach Franklin's challenged you throughout the season to be a little bit more aggressive. Your dad, your second coach, on the other side of yeah. the, the field, uh, I guess the court, has challenged you throughout the game as well. What's it like to be able to kind of take those challenges with stride and, and go after them? Um, it's good. Yeah, my dad. We like watching film because he <laughs> always is like, anytime anything happens, you just get so excited. Yeah. He was pretty fired up last night at the Waterloo yes, he game. Was. He That's was. That's what we watched today. <laughs> It was. It's always fun to watch. It's. It's not as much fun as watching you on the court, but it is a close second. It's like a one A. Um, when you go home, the conversations that you have with your dad after a win are probably a lot different than than a loss. Yeah, a loss or even a win, and I'm just not. It wasn't my best game. He just. It's sometimes bad, but he always. It's for the best. He's, you. He's you are a family person first and foremost. Talk about the support of your family. I know we joke about your dad, but it's all in good yeah. fun and love. What does it mean to have – you look in the stands and you're, and you're surrounded by they're, family. Yeah. And then on YSN, you've got people watching specifically for My you. Grandpa. That's got to be – that's got to warm your heart. Mm -hmm. So what is it like to know that, you know, your family's watching from across the country and right there, in there? I mean, not everybody has that opportunity. Is yeah. it cool for you? It's nice. They're all – they all support. And everyone that can come, they're always there. My grandparents. My brother leaves baseball early. It's nice. All right, you brought your brother up. I wasn't going to, so now we have to. Clarky, man, he is – the Diesel is the man, one of the coolest kids ever. Does he challenge you to, to be a better player? I know he challenged you to be a better role model and yeah. sister. Especially in basketball because he knows. He knows everything. Like, he's – for such a young kid, he's very talented. And he knows what to do with the ball, and he's – he thinks he's better, but he's younger, so <laughs> – Try to remind him, but he's definitely going to be a good athlete. Do you still box him out whenever he, he decides that he's a better better basketball player? We actually have not one-on-one -on -one recently. He usually – he used to just walk away. When it got bad, he'd just leave. But I don't think he'd do it now, but I, he's definitely keeps me on my toes. What ways are you most like each other? Mm. Competitiveness? Yeah, probably because he has to win. I – also have to win. But you show it in different ways. That's what's unique. I mean, we talk about it all the time. You're kind of like a uh, it is what it is kind of person. You let it go after 10 he minutes. That, yeah. It, it will drive him bonkers. Mm -hmm. Like after I've basketball seen basketball games yeah. he'll go home and he'll just everything that he didn't do to him to his best ability, he talks about and he just has to have it right. Incredible. So when you look at your future, you know, you got 2 years to think about. I mean, you got a lot more than that to think about it, but yeah. trying to position yourself. What is it you want to do and why? I've always wanted to be in the criminal justice field, but I don't know, I might take more of a like a business degree look and just see where that can take me, but probably criminal justice. All right, I'll put you I'll put you on the spot with a business thing. If you had one business to open, what would you open? Well, I've really just recently have wanted to become a real estate agent, not like a, but yeah. Well, that's cool. You want to sell houses? For some reason, yeah, even though I've never been into that before. but no. Taking that 7% commission check, I like it. Yeah. I'm sure your dad will try to talk you out of it, I'm they, sure. Yeah, they already have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, 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 on the other side of it, criminal justice. What is it? You, know, you want to be on, on the, the back end of that, or you want to bust people? Mm, probably bust people. I love the television. I mean, 
television shows aren't obviously in real life, but they're very, they've always, I've watched them for years, and so. Let's get your top three television shows of all time. Uh, I like Law & Order Special Victims Unit. I like Vampire Diaries, even though that has nothing to do. <laughs> and probably C Criminal Minds. I don't know. So Vampire Diaries just yeah. sandwiched in there. between. Yeah, I just the, had to add it. I love it. I love it. All right, this has been a very special year for the Bulldog program. Let's talk about the season. It's been a roller coaster season. You've had yes. the lowest of lows. You've had some really high highs. What has it been like you, uh, for you in the locker room, on the floor, to kind of mature and build this plane in the air? Yeah, after our East Liverpool loss, we were in the locker room. It was pretty bad in the ride home. We were pretty upset because that was our third, I think, loss in a row. And, we just, and then we had Latonia coming up. And I think that was our turning point, really, in our season because – we were all kind of down, but we knew we couldn't, like, that wasn't the end of the season, and there was so much more. So, so when you have a, a, a tough loss, like in East Liverpool, or, I mean, because you led in the East Liverpool game, yeah. pretty much all of it, and uh, and you let that one slip, but that's a good team. Letonia, also a very talented team. When you have those tough tough losses, and you have wins like you had last night, which is the, wor the first uh, tournament victory since, I believe, 1997, what is it like? I mean, is it is it very fruitful for you in the locker room or, or, or just yeah, at the end of the game? Was, yeah, well, at the end, we were so excited the whole game because we came out in the first quarter and really gave it our all. So that was exciting. And then afterwards, we weren't as excited, like, as a Springfield win. Right. But we were still, when we got there and we let it, like, sit in, we were really excited. What is one word that describes best describes this team um, for 2019-2020? Well, like Peyton said, family we're really tight we're all like there's never any arguments and when there is it's like worth it like i don't know we're all good friends we hang out outside of basketball all right so we're gonna talk family questions i didn't get to ask peyton and don't get don't get nervous okay the mom of the team is mm -hmm. kenzie gretchen probably okay it's, or bailey i don't it's a tough one so it's like mom and stepmom kind of deal yeah okay what is who's the dad Peyton Peyton's the dad yeah, probably why mm, I don't know she's very she's tough for on everyone but she means well like her words help everyone Just who's the crazy uncle Frizz <laughs> why I don't know I, she's just like if you don't know her like personally then you probably would think that she might not be the nicest but she is the nicest person and she she's just so funny everything she does is what she says, what she does on the court, how she reacts. It's just everything. Who's the cool aunt? Mm, maybe probably Paige or Gretchen again. I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> it, it is hard. That's a big yeah. family. Mm -hmm. Where do you fit on this team? Mm, just a little. I don't know. Just a kid maybe. Just a kid? You're one yeah. of the kids? The One of the monkeys jumping on the bed? Yeah, that'd be <laughs> Uh, and finally, I mean, from from your standpoint, I mean, Coach Franklin has been outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, what's he been like in your character development, your basketball development? Well, he's he's helped a lot. He's like everything you would want a coach to be because he's always, all like Payne said, all year round he's with us, and he always pushes us to, like, you have a good game, but to him it wasn't your best that you could have given, and he'll tell you that. He's very straightforward. He's just good coach that's awesome congratulations on the great year best of luck on saturday and continued success and i'm sure i'm positive we will cross paths in the next couple of weeks Thank congratulations you. morgan rutledge this week's player profile for east palestine we'll see you next time